Hi everybody, hope you are all doing so, so well. It is just crazy to think about. Here we are, middle of September already, past the middle point. I'm just kind of blown away by that, but that's pretty much this whole entire year. But when it was Labor Day weekend, I decided to go onto Urban Outfitters and look at, I was actually more interested in some vinyl because of my vinyl and veneer series here on this channel. If you haven't checked it out, please do so. I can put a little clicky clicky above, um, I'm not sure. I've done one for Tina Turner's Private Dancer and also for Lady Gaga's Chromatica. I'm not sure which one I will do next, but it's where I highlight amazing female albums along with a fun like makeup look uh, while I while I talk about the album and kind of the makeup look is inspired by the music. Um, but I wanted to come to you with some makeup products that I saw from Urban Outfitters and I understand Urban Outfitters obviously has clothing, they have some lifestyle kind of things and I do recall always seeing makeup products, but I don't know much about them. And when I think of Urban Outfitters makeup, I think of very glowy, dewy skin, fresh, clean, not very heavy, you know, much more of kind of like a summery, light, very festival almost inspired kind of makeup. Um, so I think these products that I got kind of emulate that. So the first product I ended up getting in, um, everything was half off. I don't think I would ever probably purchase these for regular price just because it's not like I really needed these products. I was more so just interested <laughs> in how they're going to perform. So we'll see today. Um, but this is Ojai, which I believe is their own cosmetic line because it has Urban Outfitters on the packaging is like the name. So I probably should look a little bit deeper into Ojai and the brand. Um, but these are illuminator drops and it certainly looks really beautiful. And it says you can mix this in with your foundation. And I, you know, do I take the leap and the plunge to put a dot of it on and add it into my foundation, perhaps. Um, but I do just love kind of this light shimmer. And I mean, it is a beautiful looking, uh, and that's a very concentrated swatch right there. Um, but I think this would look beautiful on the tops of the cheeks. But you know, mixed into a foundation, if you don't use too much, obviously we'll just add a nice kind of luminosity to your skin. Uh, but it, I think, can be a product that might be trippy, trippy <laughs> tricky for people that have textured skin or that kind of thing. But I think I might try mixing it today with my CoverGirl Clean Fresh foundation and we can see what happens uh, with that combo. Um, I then uh, ended up getting two products from Frick. And Frick, I think I, let me make sure that that's Freck, Frick, Freck. It's probably Freck. Two products from Freck. Um, and Freck, I first originally started to see become popular when all of the craze of having um, freckles came about. Um, and that's probably Freck, Freck OG, probably like a freckle pen type deal. Um, but these two products are neither of those. Uh, this is Lid Lick, which is interesting name, but it's basically just a liquid liner, but they say that you can use it on your cheeks. Uh, you can, what did they actually, there was another place, excuse me, the print on the back of this is so extremely difficult to read. Uh, lids, eyebrows, that's what I thought was kind of interesting, a brow kind of moment. Probably not my choice of where I would place this, but we'll definitely use this as at least liner today. Um, and it's this very light, purple lilac uh, almost i mean on certain looks this might just look white to to be frank and then i ended up getting cheek slime which is this beautiful peachy color uh, i got cuffed as the color but you can use this as a lip and cheek tint so i want to use these couple products today see what kind of like fresh dewy look we can get uh from this i don't think i'll incorporate much or any other um kind of eye products we might just go in with like the illuminator and then add in the um liner sorry for the extra noise miko has found a box and you know cats in boxes they love them um but i need to quickly uh 
wet, wet my sponge here. But in the meantime, I do think I will need like a primer to kind of help this all look the best. I think I am going to go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer um, just because I think it will help to make everything look a bit more smoothed out on the skin. And with this Poreless Putty Primer, you want to remember to let it sit on your skin for 30 seconds before you actually add any foundation or any complexion products. I think that really can uh, change your outcome of how well the product is used. Um, I did notice yesterday where I think I used this, or no, I think I actually used a different primer, but I was having some interesting kind of, um, not flaking, but you know when the product kind of clicks, clicks, combines together and you get kind of almost these little pilly, uh, pilliness of product on the skin. I was getting that, um, but that was actually a different primer, so we'll have to see if this was happening today, um, will happen today or not. But I have to go wash my sponge and I will be right back. Hold on. All right, here I am back. Now, one thing I just want to note is I am a makeup girl who loves kind of a thick layer of makeup. I don't mind it, but I am loving a bit lighter of kind of complexion products and letting your skin kind of breathe, but I will always love a lot of shadow. Uh, but it will be fun today to kind of just play with these and see what the products can give as a look just in themselves. So for foundation, I am going to go in with the CoverGirl Clean um, Skin Milk and Clean Fresh Skin Milk. And I've really been loving this there is a kind of odd scent that I think is a bit different than just foundation. And I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is a little weird to me. Um, but now I'm trying to think how I want to mix in the illuminator. I guess I'll pour a little bit of product onto my hand. And this is a pretty runny foundation, um, which is probably why it's in the squeeze tube. But it is then tricky to see how much you actually need. And then I'm going to go in and just put a little dot of this illuminator in here. And if you're an oily skinned kind of individual, I don't know how well this will play for you, but Urban Outfitters, you know, they said on the outside of the box that this plays well with other foundations. So we will see if they are right about that. And what will be interesting too is seeing how, um, you know, will this actually look on places where there isn't a whole lot of coverage? So let me blend her in and let's look. So I can definitely tell there's an evenness all over the skin, but let's look closely here. I mean, it definitely looks radiant, but the skin milk already is pretty radiant. Um, as a foundation and isn't like the highest of coverage foundation. Um, it is, I think, a little bit blendable or not build buildable as a foundation, um, but I'm not sure if I see a whole lot. Now, I did just do kind of one little drop of the illuminator, but we'll use the illuminator on the cheeks um, after we add the other stuff. But let me go in and add a little bit of concealer to this look and I will bring you in after that because I don't think we'll set with powder until a little bit after we add some of the other products. So I added on some concealer to help kind of boost up the coverage a little bit more. And I do like how the skin looks. It's definitely glowy and dewy. I just don't know, kind of like I said, I don't know if that's just coming from the skin milk or not though. You know, it's a little bit difficult to tell to be frank. But let's go in with this Freck Cheek Slime product. Slime, I think, is just a really interesting name to name a product. I do like the packaging, though. Very cute, kind of unique uh, looking little bottle. Um, but I'm just going to take a little bit. And it's thicker um, than kind of what I expected. But I'm just going to take a little bit. It does seem pretty potent. And it has a bit thicker of a viscosity than I was thinking it would. But I'm just going to tap some on my cheeks and then blend it out. And it does have this really pretty kind of peachy tone to it. Peachy, orangey look. 
And one thing that I really love, especially if you are looking to have some very fresh looking skin, going in with a cream or liquid based um, blush like this will really make it look like you are naturally, you know, having this flush or naturally having, uh, you know, a glow about you. And I do like how that looks. It is fresh and pretty and makes you look kind of just like effortlessly awake. I'm going to tap a little bit across my nose here as well, just because I do love a little bit more. Maybe we'll get even a bit more right on the apple of the cheek. And I think something like this is really uh, works well with blending with your fingers and tapping it on, but I bet this also would look really nice uh, patted on with a sponge uh, and just kind of adding the color on just like that. Though it almost looked like some of it was being pulled up um, perhaps on that side, but it might just be how the light is hitting the product. But also with this, you're able to put on your lips. Now, I have a little bit of like chapstick on my lips and my lips are slightly chapped, not too bad, but let's just add this tint across the lip here. It's, you know, a little tint of something on my lips. It's nothing, I think, major. And I don't think I really got this product because I really wanted like a um, peachy, lip tint. I wanted it for peachiness on my cheeks. Uh, but I do like continuity in a look. Um, it does, you know, tie in the lip color to the cheek color. So, you know, I'm fine with it. I probably will put a little gloss on top or something just because, you know, it me. I love me as some gloss. Um, so now let's go into this Ojai oh really, really pretty illuminator just put a little bit on the back of my hand here and more than a little bit seems to always come out for me so just note that with this product and I'm going to take some again just on my finger tap in and go right at the high point of my cheek and really let that blend in to my skin and blend it up and that just is such a pretty this color I'm not sure does she have a name it is vegan it is paraben-free paraben and not tested on animals. It, this is Glimmer. I'm not sure if Glimmer is the only shade they have or not of this product. But again, just add some right on the high points of your cheek. And I do like kind of bringing it up around the temple area and letting that kind of blend in right into the top portion of your cheek. And now I do still have hyperpigmentation. I do have some, you know... Uh, pores and that sort of thing but I don't think this really makes it look that bad to the point where I feel weird about wearing this product. Now I haven't done anything on my lid space so I think whatever is left on my sponge here I'm just gonna take that and kind of graze it across my eye to try to get a little bit of coverage on there so we don't see just like super veininess. And then I might end up setting that along with my under eye. So I'm going to go in, kind of tap out any potential creasing that we have. And then let me go in and just set with some Laura Mercier setting powder. And I will bring you back in for us to use this little lid lick. All right. So I kind of set uh, my under eyes here, just going across my lids just a little bit to set the foundation and concealer that I had on my lids. And I don't even think I need to add much shadow wise, but I think I do want to add just a little bit shadow wise because, you know, um, I like a little bit of definition. So I do and have been loving my e.l.f. Uh, contour palette, and this is in the light medium shade. So, so nice. Also, this highlighter is stunning. Super, super pretty. I used it first as like an under eye setting powder. Yeah, no, I don't advise you using it like that because it has much more shimmer uh, than you would, you would expect. But I'm just going to go in to the lightest shade within this palette and just buff that right into my crease to kind of just give 
a little bit of definition, a little bit of color, give just a little something for this eye look to have um, and make it look a little bit more, not presentable, because I definitely think you could do uh, this without any sort of eyeshadow. I just want to add a little bit of something something right in this area to get it going. And then I'm just going to go into the deepest shade, kind of a cooler toned brown, and add that right into the crease, give us just a little bit of definition. I think it just always helps to make your eyes probably look a little bit more put together, a little bit more awake, uh, you know, just a little bit more of a full rounded look. And just like that, really quick, really simple, just a minute of your time. So now that I have this illuminator still within my hand, I want to tap some right onto my lid space and just blend that in and across and just get some kind of glossy dewiness right onto the lid because I want this to kind of play across my whole look along with that freck cheek slime. I really like kind of the continuity of everything. So pressing this illuminator right onto the lid space and then don't forget right underneath the brow as well. Really get the high point put in so that you have this whole area that will be illuminated whenever it is touching or hitting the light. So again, just tapping that in, tapping it right under my brow and anything that I have left here, I will just tap right onto the top points of my cheek and let that play just so beautifully and effortlessly, perhaps even a little hit down the edge of your nose. And if you wanted to, I think let's go into this cheek slime, add a little bit more add to my hand, tap in and just take it right on this outer corner area and tap in just because then we can bring in a little hit of this peachy shade and that will really tie in kind of what's happening here on the lip, on the cheek. And do you know what this actually kind of makes me think of? M Cosmetics. And M Cosmetics gives me a little bit of kind of that uh, vibe of Urban Outfitters, but also K-Beauty. I think Korean Beauty kind of has this very effortless, easy look to a lot of their makeup looks. It's supposed to look pretty simple, pretty easy. I'm just going back through with that brush and kind of letting everything meld and blend together. But I really like how, you know, kind of clean and simple everything is looking on the skin. So now with this liner pencil, because what's nice, or not pencil, this liquid liner that we have, um, the illuminator is a pink kind of toned illuminator, perhaps some light kind of, uh, what is the word, lilac color. So I wanna go through and just line and give myself a little wing, just a little fun, nothing crazy. And I will bring you back in when I am done with that little liquid liner. Nice little brush tip here. Um, it doesn't seem like anything crazy, but I would uh, kind of take a little bit of the product off because it looked like there was quite a lot. Um, and just start kind of in the middle uh, area of your lash line and then move across. So I am noticing burning which is not a fantastic feeling, especially by the eye. So if you have sensitive eyes, I would probably stay away from this product. Uh, I do have somewhat sensitive eyes, but I should certainly not feel burning uh, because I put this product on. This is supposed to be liquid liner for your eyes. Now, the one thing I'm not loving about this liner is there really isn't a whole lot of opacity to it. It looks not extremely, you know, the color that it is. Um, it just, not my favorite product today. We'll put it that way. It should have, I think, a bit more of opacity. And usually when you build up liners like this, it kind of reminds me of the NYX 
Um, I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember the exact name of the liner, but NYX has a liquid liner like this. Excuse me. And once you continuously build it up, it starts cracking, and I have a feeling that's what this product will do. Also, the burning is just... Yeah. Yeah. It just is not my favorite liner. Going over it a second time, it just ain't worth it. Mm-mm. Nah. Pass. Pass, pass, pass. Burning. Again. I don't know why I keep applying it, but... Yeah. To test. Don't waste your money. People. Let you know, don't waste your money on this product. It is not good. Perhaps it's just the shade, but it certainly wouldn't make me want to try any of the other Lid Lick uh, products by Freck. Absolutely not. It doesn't have opacity. It kind of burns my eyes. And it just doesn't look good. I do not consider myself, you know, a beginner when it comes to makeup. I've done my fair share of makeup looks in my life. But it should not take me this much time and it should not take me this much effort to do a simple little wing across my eye. Doing double, triple coats of something just because I can't get the opacity I want. It is a waste of your time and your money. So let's go back into something that wasn't as bad. Um, I am loving the glow on the cheek from the Illuminator and I am enjoying the uh, just color on the cheeks and even the lip, I, I don't mind. So I wanna kinda add a little bit more on my cheeks, I think. Then I wanna go in and add a little bit of uh, contour or bronzer onto my look. Um, just to kind of help round it out. I'll probably also put on some uh, All May Brow Styler because I love to get my brows a little bit darker, a little bit fluffier, and then some mascara as well. And we'll see how the mascara does after having this liner because the liner also just kind of stuck to my lashes while putting it on. So yeah, I was really liking this look before I put the liner on, but you know, I had to test it out. All right, everyone, so I added on my brow styler, some mascara, and all together, it's not like I hate the look, but I don't think I could say I love it either. I do like the cheek slime. I think it is really pretty. There is a really nice glow. I don't know if I love it on the lips. It is kind of collecting in my lines, uh, which isn't my favorite, but I probably, at the end of the day, will just end up, let's throw on a little Neutrogena gloss here. Um, this is just some Hydro Boost hydrating lip shine and just get it a little shinier here and help because it is a little dry, dry feeling as well, uh, which is probably a good thing for the cheeks so that it can dry and stay in place. Um, but having it on the lips is more of a drying product is not my favorite thing, but I do have perpetually dry lips like the Sahara Desert, so there's that. Um, as you've probably already heard me rant about, don't love the liner, don't think it's great. I'm not a big person about putting liner in my eyebrows, so I wouldn't use that for this. And I mean, maybe it would be cute with a little bit of like freckles on the cheek if that's what they were talking about. I don't know, uh, having some ethereal little freckle going on, perhaps. Uh, but I guess that's not something that I really look towards. Um, yeah. Uh, but I think my favorite product of everything was actually the Urban Decay Oh Hi uh, Illuminator. I think this is so pretty. I love how it looks. This shine right through here is so, so pretty. It just catches the light so nice. And maybe that is also why my whole face is a bit more kind of dewy and glowy than I think I normally kind of see. Uh, so yeah, I'm not mad at this look by any means. I love a fresh kind of look. And this definitely gives me some kind of K-pop, not K-pop, but K-beauty Korean style beauty M Cosmetics kind of feel of just this very fresh, effortless, easy makeup beyond the liner that I didn't like that uh, took me way too much time to put on. Um, but let me zoom the camera out a little bit and I can share with you the rest of what I got from Urban Outfitters and then we will close out our video. All right, everyone. So something that I want to put on, I'm very excited for, are these cute little moon earrings that I got. Also just, you know, the things that you just don't buy when there is uh, no sale, you know, 
don't buy jewelry uh, full price. Unless it's like real nice jewelry because what's the point? Like just a waste. I think it's just a waste, a waste, a waste. Um, but these actually seem pretty thick. I don't know if I can get this through my hole in my ear. Hmm, interesting. Let's see here. Hmm, well, I'm a bit disappointed here. This, I think, is just such a thick, um, you know, gauge uh, for an earring. I can't get it in my one ear, which is weird. I don't have problems like that, but I do think this looks a lot thicker than a normal kind of earring. Um, but I do think they're super cute in the one that I was able to get. Um, so we'll see. Just didn't want to waste too much more time trying to get that in. Uh, but then the other things that I ended up purchasing, one of which was a new shirt, a Pink Floyd shirt, because it just looked so super cool. I do love tie-dye. I love prints. I love band t-shirts. Just so, so nice. It was, I think, more so like a unisex size. They ran out of medium, so I got a small. Hopefully it won't shrink too much because she's a little tight right now, but hey, I was able to fit into it, so it's a start. Then, oof, had to grab them. I got some vinyl for my vinyl and veneer series. <laughs> Look at me getting my cheetah girls on. Okay, if anybody knows what is up, they know that the cheetah girls, cheetah sisters, this is a good old time. Uh, I'm excited to listen to this album. Another album which I'm super excited to listen to. I've already listened to this album. I already love this album. I love Bishop Briggs. I think I've seen her live twice, if not three times. She has so much energy. She is fantastic live. If you ever are looking to see somebody live that has a great voice, check out Bishop Briggs. You've probably heard her music is placed often within like trailers or TV spots or commercials for video games, that sort of thing. She's very popular in that world. And then last but not least, obviously, is Writings on the Wall, Destiny's Child. Just a great album. This was, I guess, released for their 20th anniversary of this album. A classic, classic album. I'm very excited for a vinyl and veneer based off of this album. I definitely don't think Beyonce would be Beyonce without Destiny's Child and just having that girl group uh, experience and just growing up in the industry I think really shaped who she was having her father as a producer and as you know uh, her manager for so long definitely kind of cultivated the B in, into the first steps of her career and then last just a little additional thing that I ended up getting which I am so excited I think I'm going to shoot with tomorrow I got my Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collab palette. I was super impressed with the amount of packaging it came in. Beauty Bay, I believe, is originated in the UK, so this did ship from overseas. We have some fabulous amount of bubble within here, which is super, super nice. And then the palette itself is just so thick and sturdy. Has two mirrors when you open it up. The shades, the colors, it looks just stunning. So I'm so excited to play with this. I think I might try to look for maybe some dupes that I have within like Juvia's place or something like that uh, to see if I have anything that kind of makes me think of these. But I'm excited to just swatch with this, play it, have a good time. But yeah, beyond this earring snafu and this <laughs> lid lick, don't get this product. It is not good. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun creating this look for you today. It certainly was a simple look, a fun look, just something a little bit different. And you know, if perhaps you're looking for a thick, not thick, but a nice, a thin kind of style, cheek tint, lip tint, definitely look into the cheek slime. I think they have other shades of this. This is really pretty. And I also really enjoyed this illuminator from the Ojai, I believe in-house Urban Decay or Urban Decay, Urban Outfitters brand. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. If you like videos like this, feel free to go check out some other ones. Feel free to even click the little like button on the bottom, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. All right, everybody, wherever you are, whatever you may be doing, I hope you are able to do something you love every single day. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Bye.